Welcome here to the Fathers of Mercy here in Auburn, Kentucky. We're starting a new YouTube series called Holy Smokes, and it's going to be coming out with one video every single week, and it'll be a short video. And basically, it's supposed to talk about maybe about Catholic fun facts, things as Catholics that for a while we may be exposed to, not be aware of the reasoning behind it, and be able to explain why we do the things that we do as Catholics, right? There's a lot of things that we probably don't know the reasoning behind, and so in order to foster a deeper understanding and desire for the Catholic faith, to kind of talk about some of those things, right? And I think it's very appropriate that we begin with the book of Genesis. So in the book of Genesis, we talk about the fall, original sin, and a lot of times we think that when Adam and Eve ate of the fruit, we always picture it as an apple. And why do we do that? Why do we think that they picked an apple? Because in the book of Genesis, it doesn't specify actually what kind of fruit that they, they picked. Our Lord commands them not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, but it never says what kind of fruit is on the tree. And so why do we always picture this imagery of an apple a lot of times? Well, it's actually a very ancient tradition, and it actually comes from the language in the Bible. So the Old Testament was translated from Hebrew into Latin. And in Latin, there is actually a pun that takes place. When God commands Adam and Eve not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, the word for evil in Latin is the word malum. And although the word malum means evil, it actually also means, in the Latin language, apple. So if someone was to read the Old Testament, literally, that section when God commands Adam and Eve not to eat of the tree of good and evil, it would literally read, don't eat of the tree of good and evil, or don't eat of the tree of good and apples. And so because of this, Christianity has taken that imagery of an apple. So we see it throughout the medieval uh, centuries, pictures and images of Adam and Eve picking apples, and this idea that the fruit that they picked was indeed an apple, and it's because it's a Latin pun actually in the Old Testament when it is translated. And so it can literally be read as, don't eat of the tree of good or evil, or don't eat of the tree of good or apples, and it fit into it very well because of the symbolism of the fruit. But in the Old Testament, there actually that fruit isn't specified. And so it's just this small kind of tradition and symbolism that we link on to and we carry on to as we go forward. And it's something that's very beautiful, right? Apples, that we see that imagery of Adam and Eve picking that. And if, although it's not in the Old Testament, it actually comes from the Latin translation which took place in the fourth century. And so kind of just understanding that reasoning and the reason why we do the things that we do um, and we understand that, that aspect of the apple. And so every single week we'll come out with a little thing like this, uh, just kind of explaining the Catholic faith and kind of just the fun facts of why, why we believe the things that we believe and the things that we see, why they exist the way we are. And so we will end then with a blessing. Dominus Obiscu, Bedica Rosonico Dens Deus, Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen.